Hello students, uh, congratulations on your CA results. Uh, all the three results are out today, the foundation, intermediate and your final. Uh, just uh, thought of discussing about your foundation results uh, which came in. Uh, this time the total percentage of students who have cleared it is roughly around 20% compared to the last attempt. The, it's a lot better result. Uh, so there's a drastic improvement in terms of it. But major failure this time has happened in the law papers. Uh, one, because when the paper analysis also was done, we told you the law paper was quite lengthy compared to the previous attempt. Uh, but mathematics where most of the failures were there this time, it was a lot better with mathematics and your economics. Accounting was a straightforward paper. I think a lot of you guys would have done your study matter and previous year paper questions would have got it right. Uh, so the results have been around 20%. Uh, now, with regards to your CA intermediate, now uh, group 1 and group 2 has been around 15 and 16 percent and trust me, it's a very, very good result compared to the ICI standards. But when you see both the modules at a time, it's only around a 5 and a half percent and so that means a lot of you guys would be disappointed to say what is this 5 and a half percent with your CA inter both the modules. But the trend of the students have been that they are focusing even though they write both the modules, their focus have always been to clear one module at a time because of the exams happening once in four months. So that way, it's not a very disappointing part of it. I, If I look at it from a group angle, I always suggest a student, especially with the CA intermediate, try to write one module at a time so that you have more chances of clearing and you can focus on. And with four months between two exams, I think it's a fair amount of time. Uh, you're not losing too much with regards to it. Now, for the students who have cleared both the modules and are looking for articleship, I have a video where I've said, how do you choose an articleship between a big four and a mid-sized firm or a sole proprietary? What is the thing? So you can log into it. For the ones who have not cleared both the modules, uh, I would suggest you to take one module at a time. For the ones who have cleared one module, congratulations. Now, for the ones who are preparing for second module or let's say who have uh, looking to write the module which have failed again try to look into it you have 60 days from today for your exam so what i would suggest you guys to do is in the 60 days try to plan 45 days for your revising that means on an average 15 days per subject then use remaining 15 days that is five days per subject for your revision now that is what i would suggest if i'm a ca intermediate student right planning to write one module at a time I, if somebody has failed, I would not recommend until and unless they can spend 15 to 16 hours of your study time to it. Now, for the foundation students, you have close at around 70 to 75 days for your exam. Now, with 70 to 75 days of your exam, what I would suggest is keep around 50 days for your preparation. That means, that means it's going to be around 24 days for two subjects that means on an average 12 days per subject now if you keep a morning slot for your one subject of accounting i'll keep the evening slot for my mcq so i'll try to complete this by november 25th and from november 25th to december 20th i'll do law and mathematics so by december 20th i should be done with reading all my subjects once from december 20th onwards till january that's the date of your exam. I would focus on doing only my revision paper. And I think this should be a good enough plan for you guys to clear it. Now from RU Pro, you guys get free marathon classes. You can also enroll for the crash course if you guys are interested. Uh, and marathon classes are going to be available on YouTube at free of course. You can also take in support of our counselors if you guys require some help with your preparations. So don't be disappointed and reach out to us if you require anything. Please do write it in the comments below so that we'll be more happier to answer any of your queries. Uh, uh, don't be disappointed. That's what I keep saying is uh, it's just that you have delayed your success a bit. So don't worry so much. Take care of it. Uh, all the best for the guys who have cleared it. All the best. Thank you so much.